trying something new. First time buying this type of rescue box. Stay tuned so you'll know what it is. Welcome to the Thread Up DIY. Take two. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Susie. Welcome to Dragonfly Bees Resale if you're new here. And welcome to the Thread Up DIY Fabrics and Textiles Rescue Box Collaboration. There are 12 other content creators who are participating along with myself. And you've probably seen some of the ones already premiered prior to mine. You're also going to see a few more uh, after mine is done. So if you're not sure who's participating, I have everyone's link below in the description box. So please check them out and subscribe to them. So without further hesitation, I have my box, which is the, my first time purchase of this Thread Up DIY type of box. I told you it's from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. It is a DIY do-it-yourself box uh, containing different fabrics and textiles for upcycling, such as upholstering, maybe quilting, or whatever um, your creative heart desires. So let's just open it up. So the Thread Up DIY box only costs um, $24. I did have a credit of $5, but they do charge $9.99 shipping. So the total cost for this box was about $22. Um, it's 10 pounds of fabric. So let's just cut into it. All right. I'm doing it carefully because I don't want to cut into whatever's inside. This is packed really full. I mean, it's actually bursting out. Um, okay. Let's see what we got. The first item that I pulled out of the box is this beautiful one shoulder black and white gown. It is fully lined. It is new with tag. Look at the back. It has this cutout on the back where your waist would be. The zipper works good. I tried it out. It is by Brides with two S's at the end. It is a US size 4, UK size 8, European 34. Here's the tags. I don't see anything wrong with it I don't see any rips such a pretty gown I haven't worn a size 4 in decades but it is one shoulder where you have the diagonal pattern and then the bottom portion the stripes go vertically such a gorgeous, gorgeous gown. So this is the first item. The second item is this dress. It's like a peasant dress. Floral pattern. The bodice is all like elastic. It does have um, like puffy shoulder sleeves with elastic on it. So you can wear it off your shoulder. It has long sleeves with the elastic on the cuff and a little ruffle. The same is on the back side. But I did notice that this side the elastic that is over here 
is stretched out. So this portion, I mean, has to be uh, repaired. Otherwise, this dress, it feels like um, polyester and there are no tags inside, but it is a long maxi dress. Like I said, peasant style. I mean, you can just, you can even just wear it with the, even though this is, has uh, the elastic is stretched out, you can just wear it off your shoulder. So, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a uh, medium large. When I do that, it, it actually reaches up to my ankles. And I'm about 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. So we have this one here. Peasant dress. Very pretty pattern though. It looks to have like chrysanthemums, has a scoop neckline with like gold stitching. The sleeves are short with some ties on it. It is fully lined. It is by Lily Pulitzer. This is a size eight. It does have a um, side zipper right there. Nice and smooth, lined in navy, like a acetate probably. I don't see anything wrong with this, which is really odd to me, but it's my size and it reaches right at the knee. So we have this one here, really pretty dress by Lily Pulitzer. Really nice. This is the next one I thought, oh, let me try, try it on this way to show you. Uh, it's got some exposure there. But this is a really nice cocktail dress. Um, as you can see, it has this tie on the neck with this embellishment. Okay, if you look at the neckline, okay. As you can tell, I don't really make videos uh, facing forward much. So I need more practice in this, but okay. The embellishments, these um, enamel pieces, one side has five of them and the other one has seven. So that needs a little fixing. Otherwise, this dress is really nice. It has, it has that, you know, like some bras have that. So it, it holds it up on the back side. This is the back, this is by Donna Rico, uh, New York, and it's a size 10. Zipper is really in great condition. And it, and the bottom, it's not actually ballooned, but it is, it does have this little puffy effect. It's a halter dress. I kind of like the bottom. So let's see, if I were to wear it, um, it would actually reach my, okay, it does reach my knee, like below the knee, but not not a midi. So we have this one here by Donna Rico. So that's four items already. And the fifth one is this top. It looks really sweet. It is black with the metallic. It has a little keyhole in the front right there. It is a 
button down back. It does have a little like a, a little scalloped front. And I understand why they placed this in here because there's absolutely no tags. It looks like a small or even, even an extra small, but it does have these really nice um, little cap sleeves. I think this top is adorable. So this one here is the fifth item. What it has, it has that like a Mandarin collar, uh, like a V-neck. It has um, these sleeves that you can make shorter by, by buttoning them up. And then it is a, like a high-low. It's shorter on the front and longer on the back. And I don't see, I don't see anything wrong with this. Okay, so we have this one here. High-low top by three pink hearts, size large. This is the sixth item. So let's move on. It is beautiful, soft, tensile fabric in a size small. It has bugle beads like design on the front pockets. It has like a button front. Wow, this fabric is so soft. Um, I checked to see and all the buttons are there. It has the type of sleeves where you can shorten them or keep them long. Uh, this is very cute. There you can see Zara size small. And the only problem is on the back, on the back right there, you see where my thumb is moving? There's one tiny stain there that, come on, you could just wash that out. And there you have it. Let's see. Could be a dress because when I do that, it actually right above my knee. So we have this one by Zara. Time and True, uh, a medium, 8 to 10. It is a top, kind of sheer, has a wrap design on the bottom portion, short sleeve. I think this is a Target brand, and um, it looks pretty good. I don't see any staining, and it just... Uh, it ties on the bottom. Time and true. Size large. It is by Nicola. 100% polyester. Really sweet though. This is something I would have worn when I was uh, working in corporate. It has like a fluttery collar. A v-neck button down it only buttons it only has three buttons but the middle portion has this uh ribbing and then the bottom has a like a nice little flouncy bottom this leaves a short sleeve really nice blouse very nice so this one here by Nicola, and I don't see anything wrong with this either. Uh, this is the company, I, Caliche, I don't know. It is a button down, short sleeve, cuffed blouse, really pretty pattern, nice sweet shirt. It does have some 
pleating right here, gathered pleats. This is so nice. It is by French Connection. Great brand, US size 14, which is a um, UK, no, I'm sorry. It's a US size 10, my mistake. It is a UK size 14, European size 42. So a size 10, there you have it. It is lined, fully lined, but I do notice some deodorant, um, maybe a really little stains on the armpit. I th I'm thinking that is what it is, right? So we have this scoop bottom by French Connection. go this one here is another gown this is by renaissance renaissance size four it is a strapless gown here's the back as you can see it has the ribbon tie back what this oh my goodness it's not a gown <laughs> okay that's what it looks like but look it's like a tutu it's a very tiny dress. Very ornate. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's some sequins missing because I do see a loose thread right there. But wow, is this is this pretty or what? small there's no brand so nice it goes all the way down so i don't know picture this it could be a, a bathing suit cover up you could wear this like over a pair of jeans or something and a tank top a white tank top Like so. Oh my gosh. It has a slit. And the slit starts at your waist. And it's a weird place for a slit to begin. But um, there's also a little mark near that slit that I noticed right here. You see those marks? That's where the slit begins. So this needs a good cleaning. And there is a brand on here. Fame and Partners, Free People. It is a US, no, Australian size 10. A US, what is that, an eight? We have that. Next, next up we have this dress or tunic. Uh, it is a size six. It's by CC. It is fully lined, zippered back, animal print. Look how pretty this one is. It has the sheer long sleeves with the elastic on the waist, on the wrist, along with the um, ruffle on the bottom. Same here. It even has a ruffle on the center. Right there. V-neck. Gathering. The bottom. This is pretty. I like this one too. I would wear it, but I'm not a six. Size extra small. It it is one of those um 
longer on the back, shorter in the front. It has long sleeves with elastic on the, on the uh, wrist. It looks good. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with this one either. Huh. Okay. So we have that. a tunic maybe it has the, the mesh see-through sleeves with the gold trim there is a um, overlay it has a trim on the bottom there's no size it looks like it would fit maybe um a 10 so we have that really uh very nice must have been custom custom made and i don't see any um any uh problems with it fully lined in cotton and here's the uh the overlay gotta say it's kind of pretty it's very pretty i like it very pretty one last item to go. Okay, next item is this here. This is by Equipment, women's size medium. It is in a camo print. Really soft. You know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is a pajama top uh long sleeves buttons it even has a a pocket on one side it feels like a pajama top i mean it looks like a pajama top i don't know would you wear this as a blouse and um it feels really nice so i i'm guessing this could very well be silk Looking at it, you know, it's really hard to see. On the back, really hard to tell. But when I when I show it in the in the light, you'll see like tiny little lines, like where it got rubbed, perhaps. Just some fun facts about equipment. It's that fashion label that's currently based in LA, California. It was originally founded by Christian Ristone, a husband of former Vogue Paris editor-in-chief in, -chief. in uh, 1976. He left the brand in 1998, and then it was relaunched in 2010 by Sergei Ezria. <laughs> which is the older brother of Max Azria, who is head of BCBG Max Azria Group. So currently, it's all over the world internationally. Um, as you can see, how many stores and retail shops they have. And um, they are very famous for their iconic silk blouses. Can you see that it it's a hundred percent silk so we have this one here really pretty though and the very last item is this sash it's like that seersucker material and that's it for this uh for this box in fact i counted 19 items I'm blown away considering how much I paid for the box and what I what I was able to um, what I got 
um, I guess I, I'll start listing things on Poshmark again. I haven't listed clothes in a long time, but I thought this collaboration was a fun thing to participate in since I haven't um, ever purchased this type of box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. I uh, thank you for being here. I'm actually not here. I'm working, so my collaborator friends are, I guess, um, representing. So enjoy the videos that are coming up right after me. I hope you enjoyed the ones that came before me, and thank you so much for being here. If there's anything you'd like to purchase, just email me, and we'll take it from there. Thank you again. Bye. Mm -hmm.